This is a demonstration of how to use a smartphone app to calculate the internal rate of return of a proposed project. The example is based on an imaginary project with a cost of 740,000 Rand and with forecast cash flows over a three-year period of 150,000 Rand in the first year, 530,000 in the second year and 320,000 Rand in the third year. Tap through on the app and on the next screen select the NPV IRR functionality. This may be different from what you have seen before where you have done present value calculations and future value calculations and the like using the TVM functionality. The data entry screen is a very straightforward proposition. It's a matter of entering your known cash flows at each of the points in time on your timeline into the relevant fields and to note that if your app is behaving the same way as mine, you will need to double click on the decimal point minus combine key in order to get the minus sign you need for cash flow zero. In addition, because this is a internal rate of return calculation, you should note that you do not need to enter in a discount rate. The internal rate of return, of course, is internal or implicit in your cash flow pattern, and therefore you do not have to enter in a discount rate. Having ensured that your data entry is correct, you click on calculate and you see in this situation that you have three results of which only one is valid. And that is because you did not enter a discount rate into the inputs. That is a completely valid approach, but you just need to remember that if you do leave the discount rate field blank, you are in a situation where the app's algorithm has assumed that the discount rate is zero. And that means that the NPV and profitability index results are invalid. If you have a hurdle rate or a known weighted average cost of capital in the situation, it is completely safe to enter that rate into the discount rate field in this app. And if you're using a financial calculator, that is also safe. And that has no effect on the calculation of the internal rate of return. And in addition, it provides the benefit that you then have a valid net present value and profitability index as a result of these calculations.